Go ahead, Andre, take it away with Josh down there. Josh, as we sit down here and, you, and we watch Cody Anderson pitch today, I know you and I have talked about this throughout spring, but you're pulling for him just as hard as you would pull for yourself at this point in time, correct? He did, absolutely. He's a teammate of mine. You know, I want him to do well just like everybody else. Um, you know, he can help this team win, and um, we all know that. So, you know, if he makes a team, um, that's, that's great. He can help us win a few ball games. For you, what has this spring been like? Last spring, you were going through, kept bouncing back from injuries and just trying to get back on the mound. Uh, this year, you're healthy, probably throwing a little bit harder than you have over the last couple of years. How do you feel so far? I feel great. Um, I'm just ready to get ready to get out of here. It seems like it's been um, a long spring, but um, no, I'm, I'm ready to get out of here. I feel good, so um, hopefully we can finish the, the spring healthy and, and get out of here on a, on a good note. For you, as you come back healthy and you feel a little bit better, is it different getting a feel down here in Arizona in comparison to when you get back to Cleveland? Um, it's it, not really different. Um, it's just trying to get your innings in and get your feet up underneath you, kind of get that tired feeling that way whenever season comes and you go deeper into a game, you kind of have you know that feeling. Um, but no, I don't think it's any different than the years past. It's just uh, my arm's healthy, so I'm not having to, to do any kind of rehab stuff or, or kind of fight for the pain. Talk about the feeling when you found out that the Indians wanted to give you a, an extension this offseason. What did that mean for you with all you've battled over the last couple of seasons? Oh, it meant a lot. Um, I was very appreciative of the opportunity. Um, whenever they, they offered that to me, I was um, uh, very grateful. And I should have caught one. it. That was a good one. <laughs> um, but, no, that's, that's the word I keep saying is appreciative because this is what it is. They've shown a lot of loyalty, loyalty to me um, over the years from, from being injured. So um, to better reach that contract was, um, was a blessing for me. One of the things you've told me is you don't have a problem either way, whether you're starting or in the bullpen, because you want to win. Uh, where does that thought process come from for you? I don't know. I've, I've always thought that way. I've always, um, um, I think I'm just from growing up and um, where I came from, my dad's always kind of instilled that in me is work hard and do what people ask you to do. And uh, at the end of the day, everything else kind of takes care of itself. So um, for me, it's um, if we win, that's a success. So it's not about where I'm at pitching. It's um, you go out there 60 feet, six inches. You got to get guys out. So that's the main goal. Why does Corey Kluber on Easter want to mess with you? And why is Corey Kluber down here on Easter? What's happening right now? Well, I think he's trying to throw some water balloons at you as we go along. Oh, you got to stay focused, Andre. You can't let the outside <laughs> stuff get involved. Right now. There you go. I thought they'd have uh, eggs to throw at him instead of water balloons. Uh, I would rather eggs right now, but the water doesn't feel that bad. You're right. Let's keep concentrating as we continue to go through this. We're talking to Josh Tomlin. As you watch Mike Napoli, what have you learned about him in the clubhouse so far this spring? He has this presence about him. It's, um, it's, pretty, it's pretty impressive. But um, it's, it's the way he goes about his business. He, um, he's one of those guys that, you know, you know what he's done in the game. He has this presence about him. He's, um, he works hard, and um, I think that's something that young guys need to see and um, he'll be a great leader for us this year. As we talk about Cody and we're watching him, he's lost his weight. He's become a different – he's got a different body than what we saw him have last year. He's an absolute machine. Uh, as, he t as he continues talking to you, though, he says talking to you has helped him tremendously in his career and helping him get where he's at. What have you been able to tell him and help him with? <laughs> what have you been able to tell him and help him with? Uh, along? Nothing, really. I mean, he, he just kind of absorbs everything. So it's um, nothing that I can tell him or, or, or you know, just kind of talking about how, how he pitches. He kind of pitches someone to me who has better stuff, obviously. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's a sense. <laughs> The ground ball is going to end the inning. Everything. He's, a, he's a quick learner. He's a good learner. He's a great clubhouse guy. He can piece his butt off. So. <laughs> Andre, thank you. You absorbed well. The inning's yeah. over. You're good. Right. <laughs>